Welcome back trainers. We're going to be taking a look at some Ultra Premier battles. I initially wanted to make this video about an hour and a half long, uh, but as I was editing it, you know, I just shrunk it down to about 50 minutes because it's still a good amount of battles considering these are at times two speed. So we got quite a few uh, to look at here, as well as several different teams and uh, team combinations with the Pokemon that you're going to be seeing on the side here, and maybe even one or two that I don't have images for. Uh, with that said, we are tr <laughs> we're trying to get to um, Legend. We were literally about three, four points away a couple days ago. Uh, yeah, we were there. You guys seen it. And uh, we're taking a tumble. Taking a little bit of tumble. Yeah. Are we going to be able to do it? I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't want to be negative, but, you know, it may, it may happen. It may not. We'll just have to see exactly uh, what the... Teams that are going to be thrown at us, right, in the future. Anyways, with that said, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. My thoughts go out. My prayers go out to the people in Texas. Um, pretty uh, crazy stuff there. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and see what we have going on. Using the Roserade, we do have one in the Ultra League. And it does have very good IVs. Ideal, as a matter of fact. I'm pretty sure it's ranked pretty well. Somewhere between, I don't know, like 1 and 13. So anyways, what we're going to do is go for the cross chop. Now, the reason why we didn't go for Night Slash is because we know we're going to survive this here. And we wanted to get a little bit more farm when they do swap into their Ninetales like this. So we're going to go ahead and go for the cross chop, taking them out. Obstagoon, pulling the win with counters at the end. On to the next battle here. Oh, up against a legend. Let's see what they have for me here. And we're going to be met with an Escavalier. So... This is not looking the best, right? We're going to be resisting, well, uh, bug to some degree. It's not necessarily resisted. It's neutral because of the psychic typing. The fairy does resist it. While all of our moves are going to be resisted uh, by the steel typing. Now, that still did a lot of damage. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our own ass cavalier here and start building up energy. Uh, we did not get a shield, but we did do about half health onto it. They're swapping into a Toxicroak here, which can be pretty deadly for the S Cavalier. But on the flip, it also can be deadly for the Toxicroak because we do have that Drill Run that is going to be doing a lot of damage. Unfortunately, oh, that was so bad. Oh my gosh, we had the Drill Run. Come on. So we're going to go ahead and go in here with our Rapid Ash, doing super effective damage with the uh, Psycho Cut there. Body Slam is going to hurt the Toxicroak quite a bit. We don't need to build up to Psychic at this point. And we're going to be doing a double swap. They're going into an Empoleon, and we're going into our Swampert here. Now, we do have Sludge Wave, so obviously the only option at this point is going to be going for Hydro Cannons, which still do decent damage to the Empoleon here. So, I mean, it's not the worst situation. While we're being part ground, so we're going to be taking a little bit more damage. So, uh, let's see. As well as those Quick Moves are really adding up. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and go for another one here. And I, I don't know, I'm surprised that they were not able to get to a charge move. And they're throwing and catching the Hydro Cannon with their Toxicroak with very little health. There's that Legend play I like to see. Well done. And we're, oh, freaking crying out loud. How many times has that happened in this battle where we had a charge move? We were not able to get it off. And then they take us out. Good game. Well done. That catch saved you. Into the next battle, we're met with a Charizard. This is the worst situation with the Escavalier. It is a Dragon Breath. Still not a good position to be in, to be honest with you, but it is a lot better than the Fire Spin. But we're just going to go ahead and swap into our Typhlosion and go for that Blast Burn here. All right, now that Dragon Breath is really digging in here. I'm not expecting them to go for a Blast Burn, but a Dragon Claw still would have been threatening at this point. We are going to let this one go through. Hit this Blast Burn as soon as we are done here. And I highly doubt that they're going to shield up that Charizard. All right, I guess I was completely wrong. <laughs> Actually, yeah, why wouldn't they want to? They uh, came out good on this situation. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go in here with Escavalier. Since they do have the uh, Dragon Breath, we're able to farm up. Now, the plan was to swap and potentially take them out with our Quick Move, but that didn't happen. They were able to get off a of Blast Burn and swap into a, <laughs> a Bomb of Snow, of all things, and that's absolutely horrible. But we do have Sludge Wave, so we're getting that through. Now, I have to calculate how I can win this instantly here, or at least a better outcome for myself. And we're <laughs> able to get to a Hydro Cannon. I, what I was starting to think is, okay, we're going to go in here and farm down with Escavalier and then just, you know, charge, throw our charge moves at whatever uh, is going to be out there. So we do have, uh, you know, a decent matchup here. All right, sounds good. 
They have one shield. We have one shield. We do have an energy advantage. We are going to absolutely shield this up. There's no if ands, or buts around this. So going for some more counters here. Looking to farm down. Looking good. And we're going to be able to counter down that last Pokemon with Escavalier and taking the win. Fantastic, folks. Moving it on to the next battle here. And why am I not doing Great League? Well, I just prefer the Ultra Premier. Oh, I mean, you know, I like it. I like Ultra Premier. We're just not having the best of odds. So, going to go up against the Amphros here. This is an okay situation, seeing that the Jewel Run is super effective. But they're going to be able to spam us with that Thunder Punch at a pretty fast rate. They're letting it go through, and they're able to barely survive. Wow, well-timed and knowing exactly what you could take. I mean, that's incredible. And we're going to have to shield that up. In comes a Typhlosion with that Incinerate absolutely destroying us. But we're able to get to a Drill Run. And we're getting a shield out of them, which is fantastic. We have a Swamper. This is looking great already. We just need to look out for the Blast Burn. Or, I'm sorry, the Solar Beam. They're actually swapping. We're going to be throwing a Hydro Cannon onto that Polyrath, which is not great. Well done. We're getting everybody who's catching over here. Nice plays. They're going to be throwing that Dynamic Punch, doing a lot of damage. While we're not doing very much with our Quick Move here, going to be throwing an Incinerate to just, uh, or sorry, a Blast Burn to get that shield. That's that last shield. We do have a Blast Burn ready to go, but unfortunately, we're going to have to not shield, and we're able to survive. I was like, this has got to be an Ice Punch, and we're going to survive with a couple HP. Getting that Blast Burn through, not very effective. It doesn't matter. At least we're doing damage. Going in here with our Swamper and uh, with our Swimper. <laughs> what the heck was that? Uh, they're going Dynamic Punch, and they're swapping into Typhlosion. Now, that Typhlosion probably had two Blast Burns. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. We experience that ourselves. Sometimes you go down with energy. We know all about that, so I can give you something that happened, um, maybe what you know occurred, why they went down with all that energy. Uh, if they were not tapping Incinerate... <laughs> why do I keep calling Blast Burn Incinerate? If they're not tapping the Blast Burn, as soon as they're coming out and if they... Tap on the screen once, that incinerate's got to go through. And it takes a few seconds, so you have to know. Or, you know, we're just able to hit Hydro Cannon first. Anyways, up against the Swampert here. Now, they're building up to two, which I figured they were going to do. Unfortunately, we're going to shield this one here. It's perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to build up to another Drill Run. Let's see if they want to double shield that Swampert. If they do, then fantastic. And they want to double shield their Swampert. You can't farm us down at this point. So they're going to go ahead and take us out. All right, goodbye, Escavalier. Really appreciate your service. In comes the uh, Swampert from our side. And we're going to go ahead and let this go through, expecting, of course, a Hydro Cannon. Unfortunately, I think they're going to be able to almost get to another one. But no, not quite. We're able to get to ours first. That's big. And taking them out, of course. They have no more shields left. And what do they have? It's a Venusaur. All right, shields are down. And they are going to be swapping into an Alolan Muck. That sounds good to me. I mean, there's very, very little that can really take out a Typhlosion when uh, they have no shields, and the Typhlosion does have shields. I mean, a Kingdra is going to have massive resistance to the fire, right? But uh, Solar Beam still does a lot of damage to it. In comes the Venusaur, and this is a big GG. Going to go for that Blast Burn. Hey, we called it right, not calling it Incinerate and taking the win. Fantastic. On to the next opponent here. All right, let's see what they have. And we're met with a horrible lead. This is going to be absolutely just a big negative. We're going to have to swap. We're going to be going into our Tangrowth. And they're going into Charizard. Put a kind of a smile on my face. We do have energy already starting to build up here. And they do have Dragon Breath. So we're in a great position here. If they want to double shield that Charizard, by all means, please be my guest. But I don't think that's what they really want to do here. Maybe, maybe not. All right, I guess they want to double shield their Charizard. That sounds absolutely beautiful. So I do believe we're going to shield this up ourselves and take out this Charizard here. One Rock Slide is all you need, folks. Yes, that is right. It does so much damage. So down they go. They're going to be able to farm us a little bit here, unfortunately, with that Venusaur. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and go in here with Typhlosion. Now we do need to look out for the Sludge Bomb. That will be doing a lot of damage, but it doesn't really matter at this point. We're going to go ahead and just let that go through. And a Frenzy Plant will threaten us. Don't think, no, it won't KO, but it's still going to do a lot. We don't want it to go down quite too low yet. They're going to be swapping into a Togekiss, and we're going to go right into our Ampharos here, Shadow. And uh, not quite building up to do Shadow Punches, or... <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling the moves differently. Thunder Punches. In comes the Venusaur, and it was at this point I realized... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Are we going to win this? Okay, yes. We're looking fine. Going in with the Typhlosion and instantly getting off this Blast Burn here. 
and taking the win. Fantastic. Alrighty, moving it on to our next opponent. Let's see what we're going to be met with in the beginning here. A little bit of lag. Okay, and we have a Galarian Rapid Ash start. Beautiful. So it looks like we're switching it up. Met with a Venusaur, and unfortunately, we do have Play Rough. So we're going to be stuck with going with Body Slam. We're going to have to kind of fake as if we're going to be going for some sort of Psychic. But they are going to be making a swap here to catch this Body Slam with that uh, Kingdra. So we're going to be building up to the Play Rough. And I, be I believe this is an obvious, you know, something you should shield. Yeah, of course, they're shielding it up. Going in here with an Empoleon, and yeah, we're using something a little bit different. Where did the Typhlosion go? What's going on, Poke? Well, let me tell you what. Let's step away from it for a moment. And, uh, you know, people are like, well, what's going on? How come you're not here? Why aren't you this ring? You know, because we just aren't. And the Typhlosion, as much as I love that thing, you guys already know, it's part of the Meta Record crew. It, um, it, there's only so much you can do when it starts pairing you up with Double Dragons. And, you know, you know, as simple as that, right? We'll, we'll leave it at that. You guys already know what I'm talking about, okay? Okay. You get punished for speaking your mind or for just saying whatever you feel, right? I mean, it's just the way things go nowadays. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go for the uh, Power Whip here. Doing a lot of damage. Does a lot of damage if they don't resist it. And uh, in comes the Venusaur. Now, this is a good matchup for us. They're going to be forced to go for Sludge Bomb. They could go Frenzy. I mean, eh. and the quick moves are going to really not do much. And what's going to happen here is we're going to be able to spam Rock Side pretty fast. At this point, I think they could farm us down. So we're going to go ahead and make that swap into our Empoleon and go for the Drill Pack here. And this is going to be able to take the win for us. And looking good. Thank you, Empoleon and team. Now, what's going to happen is I do believe we're going to be using... Eh, the same team throughout a couple times, and then we switch it off throughout the video here. So it looks like we're running with the same team here. Met with a Lucario, and we're just going to go straight for the Psychic here. Oh, yeah. Just to let you know, Body Slam does a lot. I mean, it doesn't do a lot, but it does a decent amount. Unfortunately, Lucario is kind of squishy, even though it resists it. And shielding up that Shadow Ball, fantastic. They're swapping into Charizard. We're going to go ahead and go in with our Tangrowth here. Uh, not not the best of situations. Calling that Dragon Claw. Beautiful. Beautiful. Going to go ahead and go for the Rock Slide here. And, of course, we're going to be getting a shield. But do they want to shield up again? Let's see exactly. Oh, it looks like they're going to be able to get to a charge before that even happens. And down we go. Oh, that's okay. We have an Empoleon. So, as you may know, Blast Burn from Charizard from Typhlosion is still going to hurt Empoleon, as you can see. That's still typing. It does not appreciate it. So, they're going to be swapping, maybe trying to catch some sort of uh, water... Hydro Cannon, <laughs> but we go for Jolpec. Swapping into our Rapidash here. Not taking very much damage from the Dragon Breath because we're going to be resisting it. They're letting it go through. We're going to go ahead and go for a Body Slam here. Getting Brave over there. And able to take it out. In comes the Charizard here. And we're able to get to another Body Slam. See, Galarian Rapidash is one of these Pokemon guys that we found out. Well, I started using it and I found out that it's just so amazing. I mean, this thing is just good. All right. It really does depend on what you do have paired up with it. It can get screwed over by a lot of stuff. Um, but it does have good coverage and it does hit hard. Anyways, into the next battle. Looking good. I love how I threw that Empoleon in there just to take them out instantly. So into the next battle, we're met with a Drift Blim. This is not good because Body Slam is not very effective. And we're taking super effective damage from the quick move. And that Shadow Ball will one-shot us. Icy Wind is, you know, going to hurt. And I didn't care. I wasn't trying to call it. I was like, you know, we're just going to have to leave it as it is. Go in here with the Empoleon and farm down. Simple as that. And just hope that this is not a Shadow Ball. Probably is. Oh, yeah, it's a Shadow Ball. So we're left with no health. They're swapping into their Kingdra here. And what do we have in the back? All right, let's see. It's going to be that Tangrowth. All right, so it could have it could have been a lot worse if we had a Typhlosion. But uh, we're not pairing up Typhlosion with Empoleon right now. So they're going to be going for that Octazooka. Good call on our end. We're still holding on to two shields here. Getting a little brave with the health. Getting a little low. All right. To hold on to two shields here. Right. So we're going to be going for the Rock Slide instantly. And I think that this is over. I think I've lost this. Yeah. That, that's why you should use your shields, folks. I definitely lost that. Use your shields. I know, sometimes we just hold on to them to the end, and maybe we need them there, and it really works out, but sometimes we just go down with two shields because <laughs> that's just the way it is sometimes. Anyways, 
going in here with the Rapidash, and we're going to be going for that Psychic up against that Swampert. Now, we need to look out for Sludge Wave. We need to, we need to look out for anything, to be honest with you. They're going for the Hydro Cannon. Still would have hurt us, so I'm not too you know worried about using a Shield there. Going to go ahead and go Body Slam. We are getting a Shield out of them. Great, and we're going to go ahead and swap into our Empoleon to catch this Hydro Cannon more than likely here. Yep. Obviously not going for a Sludge Wave. And they're going to be swapping into Togekiss, which uh, I can complain about that. Charm's going to be resisted by the Steel Typing on us. Well, we're going to be doing a ton of damage right back to it. So at this point, we're going to simply farm down. They have one shield left. They're going in with Swampert, and I made a massive mistake by hitting this. I should have just farmed down. Or not. I guess I made that good call because they kept it alive. There's something back there that absolutely does not want to see water typing. I'm going to go ahead and start farming. They have no shields. I'm pretty sure we'll be okay, but we'll never find out what they have in the back because they back out. Good game. Let's move on to the next battle here, folks. Let's see what we're going to be met with. If you do enjoy these battles, please give it a big thumbs up. And you know what else? Subscribe if you're new. We're met with a Surf Fetched. And here we go. This is a good matchup for us. But then they started to farm a lot. Now, this could be fine. You know, Leaf Blade's going to hurt. It's going to do a lot of damage to us. I do believe two will take us out, no problem. Uh, but also, what they could be doing is building up Brave Bird. <laughs> All right, so we don't want any of that either. Uh, we're getting both shields out of them, which was very curious to me. So I go ahead and shield this up. It is a close combat. Now, that you know, what they could be doing is just simply tricking me, right? They, they do the close combat to make us think, oh, they don't have Brave Bird. So who knows, I think come back in and Brave Bird us. We'll see exactly how it does work out. Anyways, they're swapping into a Kingdra, which is just an absolute beautiful position for us to be in. Building up a lot of energy here because we are going to take them out and we do want energy ready to go for whatever they do have in the back. It looks like we're not going to be doing that and swapping into an Empoleon instead, doing extremely resisted damage with the Waterfall. Taking them out, but that's fine. That was the plan. What we wanted to do was farm up, and we're shieldless, expecting a close combat. Sorry, Empoleon. Hey, I tried. And they're swapping. They really want that Sir Fetched alive. But not only that, they want to make that swap there so we can't farm them down. So that's a good call. That's what you want to do when you know you're not able to get to a charge move or if you have other plans. Swapping into our Tangrowth here. Now, please tell me you do not have an Ice Beam. And they're going for a Skull Bash, which actually is looking pretty good to me at this point so we're going to go ahead and go for the power whip and it is going to take them out in comes the surf fetched and we have a double ko okay that i guess now i'm going to tell you something i'm going to stop the commentary for a minute and we're going to talk about double ko's briefly here to give you all the peace of mind now i've known this for a while i don't know why i keep spouting out well when we get a double ko it shouldn't count as a loss i'm going to tell you here now it counts as a loss when you see it, it doesn't count as a physical win, but you you don't you're not going to lose points. So because I'm going to tell you, for that set when I did get that double KO, I only actually got two wins for that entire set. Two wins is a guaranteed uh, point drop, right? You're not you're not going to drop a lot, but you're dropping points. You're not gaining any. When I did get two points for that, including that uh, double KO, it actually gave me one point, one or two points. So I gained. I do believe that was like maybe the first time that's ever happened. So just to let you guys know, a double KO isn't the worst. It does count as a loss, unfortunately, but at the same time, it is not going to count towards your, your point drop. Okay? So anyways, back into the commentary here. Let's see. We're going to be going for that power whip. Now, that was a catch. Very nice catch on their end because we'll rock slide. It's going to be more efficient to go up against the uh, nine tails, obviously, because it's super effective, but they caught it there. Well done. And they do have this stinking... <laughs> This bear trap over here, which, you know, is kind of threatening. Uh, but to uh, be honest with you, with the team I have, we're looking fantastic here. Going to simply build up to the um, Hydro Cannon and take out the Stunfisk Galarian. Looking good. Fantastic. Moving it on to our next opponent here. Like I said, we got a long video. That's why an hour and a half, I think, is it. it's pushing it. Pushing it. I think 45 minutes is like the golden, the golden time, right? It's... Uh, Definitely a lengthy video, and maybe not too long for some people to watch the entire thing. Anyways, up against the Venusaur here, though, letting that Body Slam go through, and I, at this point, I'm kicking myself in the head because, well, you know, could have got a Psychic off and just one-shotted it, but they were brave enough to call it, and, well, it, it paid off for them. Well done, and I make this stupid swap. This is a Sludge Bomb. We've used both shields. <laughs> what are we doing? 
All right, they have two shields. There's, it's no, there's no way we're gonna come back from this. There's no way. Where are we? Uh, <laughs> anyways, we're getting a uh, shield out of them. Unfortunately, not able to get to another rock side here. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the rapid ash. Why? Well, we want to go ahead and go for a uh, body slam. We want to either get a shield, and there's that shield. Beautiful. Now, sorry, rapid ash. I think they actually screw up here. I, I don't know. They go for a dragon claw. I feel like they had a blast burn. That was our winning condition right there. Them going for a Dragon Claw, maybe because they didn't have enough energy, or they're saving it for later on when they come back in, but that's uh, looking like our uh, window of opportunity here, and that's the way GBL works sometimes. You get those wins from that small mess up that your opponent did, so we have barely any health. Down we go. Now, how's this going to work? Well, I mean, we're not going to be able to win this. I mean, they're going to be able to survive. That's a Shadow Charizard. No, 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 no. Let's take it out the Charizard and the Rapid Ash is taking the win. Let's go. All right. Into the next battle. What are we going to... Oh, oh, I hate this matchup so much. So we are going with the Tangrowth and the Empoleon team still. They're going to be swapping into a Kingdra. Uh, this is going to still do a lot of damage. Let's see if they want to shield it up. Letting it go through. Great. Now at this point, we're simply going to have the Rock Slide. Unless they get the attack drop with Octazooka. Come on, or they're going straight for the Outrage. You know what? Here's a funny story. I was going to let that go through. I so softly tapped the shield. Like, I don't know what, like, <laughs> it's funny. I don't know what I was doing. I didn't want a shield, but I tapped it at the last second, like, uh, I guess. And thank God I did. So we're going to be able to actually get to a uh, rock side here, hoping that they shield it up. Power Whip. Oh, and they do. So they are shieldless. We have two shields. We're going to go in here with our own Empoleon. And this is looking fantastic. They do have an energy advantage, but that's fine. Let's see if we can pull this off. Got a Rapid Ash who is at full health. They're swapping to catch this. I got to say that was a nice catch onto the Dragonite with that not very effective Hydro Cannon. Going to go ahead and swap though. This is looking pretty good for us. We're going to be resisting Dragon so much. Gonna go straight for the Psychic because there's no more shields. Taking out the Dragonite before we can get off any sort of charge move. In comes the Empoleon and this is, you know, an iffy situation here. So what we're gonna do is build up to a Body Slam and just start going to town here because I didn't think I was gonna be able to get to uh, Psychic. And it looks like, no, I wouldn't have been able to. Gonna go in with our Empoleon and I'm thinking, all right, we got this in the bag. We can do our happy dance. And then uh, they get to another one. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Yeah. It happens. Should have farmed more on a specific Pokemon to gain more energy. But it is what it is. Met with a Toxicroak here. And this is a okay matchup. Going for the Body Slam. Really hoping we get a shield here. And we do, because uh, Psychic would have one-shotted it. Sludge Bomb will one-shot us, so we also need to be cautious of that. No bait in calling it, so beautiful. Now we're just going to go ahead and go for the Body Slam, because they are low enough. No need to go for Psychic. And they are taking it and swapping into a, an Obama Snow. So we're just going to go ahead and go for the Psychic here, just to do damage. Because the Pokemon we have in the back still don't really want to see that. We have the Empoleon, we have the Tangrowth, and that's not going to be a good situation from us. But what we're going to do is gain a little bit more energy on the Rapid Ash and then swap into the Empoleon. Seeing that we're not taking super effective damage from Grass because of the Steel Typing. It's still going to hurt quite a bit, but we're able to survive it. Getting the last shield out of them, this is great here. And I have to call this. Do I want to shield it? I think so. We shield this and farm down. They're going for an Energy Ball. Beautiful. So releasing all that energy there. No shields on either end. How is this going to play out here? They're going in with Toxic Croak, and we hold our ground by farming down. Beautiful. In comes a Blaziken, and I got nervous because I thought I did not uh, tap the thing, and they're going to counter us down, but we're able to take them out. Let's go. Into our next battle, we're going to be met with a Empoleon again. Uh, I really hate this lead. So we're going to be swapping into our Tangrowth. We can take a Drill Pack and be kind of fine. Going for that Power Whip, they're... Using a shield, which is, all right, pretty good. All right, no problem. That's fine. Uh, they're going for that drill pack, of course. And we're going to be able to take these other quick moves. Do they want to double shield their Empoleon? If they do, I think we're going to be looking pretty good. All right, they let it go through. So that's still a good situation. Unfortunately, not able to farm it down. And we are going to go ahead and shield this up here. So we can get the advantage. And even though they haven't swapped. <laughs> so they're going in with a Venusaur. Now, at this point, they could farm us down. 
it is a bit risky, but when they do come out of this battle, they're going to have so much energy, as you can see here. They're in the Goldilocks area for taking us out as far as farming. So we're going to go ahead and swap so that just to relieve some of this damage that's been done here, I guess. Not really. Uh, they're getting to another Frenzy Plant. This is not looking great. I don't know what to do here. I'm just like, ah... Uh... Yeah, this is horrible. So we're going to go ahead and go for the obvious drill pack doing super effective damage. What do they have in the back? It's a glade. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, a little hope. So they're releasing their energy here. And we do have the Galarian Rapidash. Rapidash says, let's go. We have it full health too. So we need to build up to Psychic. Um, close Combat's not going to take us out. Leaf Blade's not going to take us out. We're looking fantastic. And getting to Psychic, actually building over. And this will KO the glade here. Fantastic. Taking the win. Let's go, folks. Into the next one. What are we going to be met with this time? And just to let you know, we are switching out our teams here and there. But for the most part, now we're going to be using Galarian Rapidash for the most part, right? Uh, so, all right. We're off. And up against the Gyarados here. It does have Waterfall, so this is not the best. We did get a shield, so we're going to go ahead and go for Psychic. If they want a double shield, then so be it. But they're going to be letting it go through. And I think at this point, we kind of want to shield ourselves. Or what? Why would we do such a thing? Okay, so I guess we're going to go in here and farm down with the Tain Growth. I guess, yeah, we're going to come out of here with a lot of energy. Going to shield up this Crunch because I thought it might be Outraged because they're running um, Surf. Or, sorry, uh, Waterfall. So they're going in with Typhlosion. And it's a good thing we do have all this energy for the Rock side. So going for one. Going for another one here. Expecting another shield. Or, I mean... They have no more shields. <laughs> uh, swapping into our Empoleon, and they're going to be swapping into a Togekiss. Now, this is essentially a GG here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit that Hydro Cannon, and then farm down the remainder Togekiss's health. They're able to hit a Charge Move. And this is not Flamethrower, so we're fine. Ancient Power, no boost. It doesn't matter if they got one. In comes Charge, or Typhlosion. Simply going to shield this up and hit our Hydro Cannon. Or, I was going to say, dude, we just <laughs> waterfall it down. But they have another one, I think. So we're just going to go ahead and take them out and take the win. Let's go into the next battle. And shout out to all the people I do go up against. We're met with a slow bro. Very interesting matchup. All right. So they have the harder hitting psychic move, which is not going to be gaining as much energy, but doing more damage. And we have the lesser psychic hitting move, which is really not doing much damage. <laughs> because it is resisted and just a uh, horrible damage outputting move, but getting energy at an extreme rate. So we're going to be able to, you know, put on the pressure to that, I'm just going to call it Snorlax, Slowbro. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go Body Slam here. There's no point in going Psychic. I mean, what? And we're going to swap into our Tain Growth to farm it down. Let's go. I feel like they got a little confused there. Like, wait, 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 wait. So they're going in with their Umbreon. Shields are down and... uh. Yeah, of course we swapped our play rough to uh, Psychic. So, doesn't really matter because what, the uh, Rapidash has like a couple HP? <laughs> doesn't really matter. They're going for a Val Play and we're going to be going for the Power Whip here. This Umbreon can be pretty troublesome. But at the same time, you know, it's not some sort of god. It's not going to just, you know, it might run over your team. <laughs> Depends on what you have, but it's, you should be alright. So we're going to swap into our Empoleon here now. As soon as I did that, I realized, holy crap, I could have just used my Rapidash uh, to catch that, you know? That sucks, that's all right. Continuing on here, and they're gonna be going into a Clefable, and I'm getting a little nervous. We do resist this, but uh, yeah, that charm is really starting to add up here. They're simply gonna double shield our Hydro Cannons, and not looking great, all right? The, um, Tain Growth does have energy, so let's see. And watch this. Nope, this is a loss. Nope, we should have went Power Whip. If I would have went Power Whip, we could have won this. It would have done enough to pretty much KO. Maybe farm a little bit to have energy ready for the next Pokemon. But since we didn't, we're going to be going down. There was a little lag there, but it doesn't matter. It, 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 that was still a loss. We screwed up. We, we should have just went straight for the uh, Power Whip. Yep. And we're met with a Kingdra. Are you freaking kidding me? It is about, you have no idea how many horrible leads, horrible swaps, horrible everything, guys. I'm telling you, as soon as we get up right to the tippy top, King Kong keeps on throwing the stinking barrels right on our face, man. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, ooh, I want to talk about 
how you can manipulate the rhythm, the algorithm, that is. But, you know, uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> so this guy had a, a bronze ore in the bag, and it kind of threw me off. So I'm thinking, great, I don't want to lose hope. We do have Typhlosion here, but our attack has dropped. And this thing is going to be gaining a lot of energy. And I'm pretty sure they're farming us all the way down. Everything we're throwing at it is going to be resisted. They've used a shield. We do have a shield advantage. I guess that, you know, is going on for us. We're able to bring them down pretty low. Swapping, realizing, oh, our swap clock is up. Swapping into Typhlosion, starting to build up our energy here. They're going to be going back into Kingdra. We're going to go straight for that Blast Burn. If they want to use two shields, by all means, go ahead and use them up. Letting it go through and taking them out. Let's get it. What do they have in the back? Coming back in with the Bronze Ore. Definitely something, something back there that does not want to see Typhlosion. And we're going straight for the Blast Burn. I don't care what it is. And it is going to be an Alolan Raichu. They're going to be able to get to a charge move. Not quite. Maybe they're building up to two. And we're going for another Blast Burn. And taking the win. Let's get it. Fantastic. Gotta love that Typhlosion. I decided to bring it back. It's like, you know what? I don't care if I was hard countered before. We're going to come back in here with it. And we're going to try again and try again and try again. And here we are again up against an Umbreon. But we have no play rough. So Body Slam it is. And when you do go Body Slam, mm -mm -mm, it's doing hardly any damage. While your quick move is doing no damage pretty much. You might as well just recover at this point with it. Might as well just be recovering health. So building up to two body slams at this point, we're just going to try to do as much damage as we can. Not shielding this rapid edge. There's no point. And I do believe we, we want to make a swap here and start building up energy going into the tank growth here. I find that being a pretty good matchup if they decide to swap, it has some pretty good coverage to protect itself up against its weaknesses with the rock slide and both the grass. So we're going to go ahead and go Rockside, of course, onto the Alolan Ninetales. So we're letting it go through. And we're going to go ahead and let this go through as well because we do have the Typhlosion. So go ahead and take us out. No problem. No problem. Psyshock is going to still do some damage. And of course, I'm going to let this go through. And they're going to go for the Psyshock. Of course, they have that ready to go. Farming down. And now let's not make a mistake of not shielding anything. And then, you know, by the time it's over, we're going to be, you know, having two shields and lose. <laughs> So go over a Blast Burn onto the Umbreon. They're shielding it up. Swapping into our Rapid Ash here. And I was trying to get to the Body Slam, but stinking didn't happen again. Going for another Blast Burn. They're building up a lot of energy. I don't know about this. We have two shields, but I'm pretty sure they have two Charge Moves ready to go. So there goes one Foul Play. There goes two. There goes both of our shields. And we're not going to be able to gain energy fast enough to pull this off. And they're swapping into a Togekiss. I try to, to make a recovery, but it's it's not happening here. It is what it is. Good game. You can't win them all. I hit another Blast Burn because we're not incinerating down because it's so slow. In comes the Umbreon with energy ready to go. So this battle was over a long time ago. Good game. Alrighty, into the next one. We're met with a Legend. Oh boy, always fun fighting these guys. Always fun to see if I'm up to par with them. All right, so we're met with a Charizard with Fire Spin, unfortunately. That's not great for us. Going to go ahead and go straight for the Psychic here. And we are connecting it. That's so good. Fantastic. Going to go for a Body Slam. We are going to get a Shield out of them. There's no way that they're not going to Shield. They have all that energy, right? And this is a Purified Charizard, so it's very interesting. They're going for a Dragon Claw. We made a correct call, so that was pretty, pretty, pretty big. Uh, they're going for a Blast Burn. We're just going to go ahead and absorb that. They're going into King Drev. They've used one shield. Don't know if they're going to feel obligated to use two. So we're going to go ahead and go Solar Beam. Now's your time to see how much it does. Take a look. Doing quite a bit. Yeah. Gotta love it. So what we're going to do is obviously go back in here with the Rapid Ash and start farming up. And we need to, you know, be weary of the uh, Octazooka, right? It, it is going to do a lot of damage. Well, it's going to do a decent amount. So what we're going to do is go ahead and shield it up. What I should have done was... I tried to farm down, but I don't know if Psycho Cut would have <laughs> cut it. Alright, so going for a Body Slam here. Let's see if we can pull it off. Taking out the Charizard. In comes a Glade. And I think we can do this. Oh, yeah. So I'm not even going to bait. I don't care. They're going to probably shield this up, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because, well, they're probably going to go for Leaf Blade, and that's not very effective. What we're going to do is let this go through. Absolutely. We do have a Rapid Ash. But I don't think we're going to have to actually use that right now. Shielding this up, getting to another Power Whip. 
This is going to KO. Yeah, beautiful power whip. It's very strong. It's very powerful. All right, <laughs> into the next battle. And it got another legend, and they're starting it off with an Obama Snow. Not something I typically like to see. Um, but, you know, if we do have the, uh, you know, Typhlosion with Incinerate in the back, it can be a pretty good situation, and you're going to see why. More of a good situation if they shield. If we get a shield out of them, let's see. Oh, beautiful. So not only have we gotten a shield out of them, we're going to go ahead and let this go down, and we're going to farm them up. Let's start farming, and if they want to swap, well, we're going to swap and just counter them. We're going to go ahead and go right into our dang growth here. Now, what they can do is let this rock slide go through. I'm going to shield this dragon claw up, unfortunately. Now, if they let this go through, they can simply come back in here with the Obama Snow and take us out. Or at least try to. So we're not going to shield this. Mm -mm, no. We're going to save our shields for the Typhlosion. We're actually able to get to the rock slide, which is interesting i uh, i don't know how i felt about that because of what they may have in the back and it is going to be a machamp since we do have energy on the typhlosion already i kind of felt pretty comfortable they're going to absolutely shield this up and now we just need to get to one more come on come on obviously we're shielding this up and this is where knowing when to tap the blast burn is going to come in handy you better start practicing if you're wanting to use it incinerate on the uh Tal flame or even any Pokemon that has it, because it <laughs> it is a tricky move to get used to. So we're met with another Obama Snow. Oh boy, gotta love it. Gonna go ahead and build up to that Psychic and throw it. If we get it through, great. If we don't, fine. They're using a shield right away. Now this is an even more interesting situation. So using the shield right away, what we're doing is why we're not throwing the Body Slam is we want to give the illusion as if we're going for another Psychic. And uh, I mean, there's no way uh, they're going to shield that up, right? Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and go in here with Typhlosion. This is pretty good because they're throwing their energy here. They're going to swap after this. Yeah. Into a Swamper. And we're going to go right into our Tangrowth. Beautiful. Now we need to look out for the Sludge Wave. I felt like this was a little soon. But uh, good call. Very good call on our end. So since they did just use that energy there. We did tap on a Rock Slide. Unfortunately, we could have just farmed down and had a bunch of energy after this. But we hit the Rock Slide. So what we're going to do is simply hit none of them. So we can try to recover our farm but not really at all <laughs> and we're just going to go straight for the rock side here and they're going to be using their last shield beautiful we're absolutely 100 going to let them take us out or swap at least and we're, we're going to let them take us out going into typhlosion and you already know what it is if you have energy on typhlosion and they have no shields and we'll pretty much ggs to them down goes the toxicroak in comes the Obama Snow, we're going to go right for another Blast Burn and taking the win with the Typhlosion. Let's go. Let's keep it moving here. Now you're seeing all these wins. You're like, wow, Boke. Why aren't you legend? There's a lot of wins here. Well, let me tell you something, folks. And if you don't like what I say here, then I'm sorry. I did talk to somebody, like I said, and, you know, and I've been talking to a few other people as well. And I'm going to, I'm going to, try to stop mentioning the algorithm so much right i'm not gonna try i'm going to but we did come to a mutual kind of talking and you know i was like yeah i'm still gonna say something about it um i i just can't i can't deal with this thing I, I don't know what's going on man like i get so close and i do so well and then all of a sudden i go zero and five it just hard counters me i mean like I said, we absolutely need to talk about how to recover battles and how, what, and how we could have uh, performed better. You know, the whole shebang bang right? We, we, we know. Um, but it's just getting me so hard. Really quick, though, I just want to say something. They shielded up that Body Slam, and then I got off the Psychic, and then I shield this up, and then I go for um, Body Slam. Or we let it go through because we have this Typhlosion. So it just worked out beautiful uh, how they shielded up that Body Slam. But basically, yes, we got a lot of wins here. But we're also taking we're also getting you know destroyed i mean it, it is happening and i'm showing a lot of the losses too so it's not like i'm being one-sided here that's there's nothing much more to say about it folks pretty much that's it so we're met with a machamp here shadow this is we're using our shadow amphros so this is not a good situation they're going for cross chop here that would have hurt gonna go ahead and go for the thunder punch of course there's no need to go for the uh, dragon balls obviously and they're going to try to catch it. So what they do is they swap. Okay, very nice. Okay, very nice. 
catching that Snorlax. And what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and move in with our Tangrowth. You know how I like to be matched up against Snorlax with our Tangrowth because in case they do have Body Slam um, that, um, or I mean, should I say Earthquake, that's not going to be very effective, but more than likely they're going to have Body Slam and Super Power. So we're able to take them out. Beautiful. They have one shield. We have one shield. We have energy ready to go. What are they going to come back into the battle with? And it is going to be them a champ. So I think we are definitely going to let this go. I mean, uh, why? What would have been? What would have been the point, right? Going to swap into our Typhlosion. They're going into their own. So we have to be very clever, or else we're doomed. All right, going to go ahead and go for the Blast Burn. I think we're going to swap into our Ampharos here and absorb this. So that was the key. We needed to have them waste their energy. Beautiful swap. Going to shield this up. They have no more shields and building up a little bit more energy and this is where i screwed up it was looking great wasn't it oh yeah what i needed to do was farm them down and then go double blast burn here but because i didn't do that we just gave them a win and it's because of plays like that contributing to the hard counters as to why we're not um legend rank okay simple right do i deserve to be the legend rank i don't deserve to to have anything in life I don't deserve anything. I can earn things and uh, earn things to keep, but I don't go by the philosophy of you 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 deserve something. You earn it, right? I guess you deserve air, right? You deserve air, whatever. But anyway, what am I talking about? <laughs> Anyways, up against the uh, uh, drift blim here. I mean, it's a good matchup. It's fine. They're swapping to catch. Okay. Okay, people catching these things left and right with me. Very nice. Okay, you got me. Swapping into the Tangrowth here. And they are shieldless. They wanted to double shield the uh, Drift Blim for some reason. We're going to go ahead and go Power Whip. And doing so much damage. And we're actually able to take them out before they're able to get off a charge move. Which I found fantastic. Now, I was thinking they had a they had an Octazooka, I'm pretty sure. They're either trying to do something or I don't know. But anyways, we're able to take them down and they're going in with their own Typhlosion here, gaining some energy. We go in with our own Typhlosion and they realize, you know, I have a shield and a Napoleon or a uh, Ampharos in the back. So that's a GG. So GG is to you as well. Moving it on to the next battle here. As you can see, yeah. Somebody said in the comments that <clears throat> don't get too excited to battle legends. It's because they dropped their, their MMR, their score. Come on, I know this. I know this. And like I said, it's not... I can't bunch up all legends into one group as a toxic people. <laughs> that would be so, so ridiculous of me. And completely incoherent. So, I know. Okay, I know. All legends aren't, you know, those types. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and farm down. Got a little nervous because that thing can gain energy really quick. So, we're kind of loaded on energy over here. Going to go ahead and go for this Blast Burn onto their own Typhlosion. And I think we're gonna let this go down, unfortunately. Oh, never mind, shielding it up. Now we're playing a shieldless battle. How what was our game plan here? Okay. Oh, ah, I love it. Nice. Swapping into Ampharos and going for the Thunder Punch. That uh, Typhlosion has no health. That Typhlosion has no health. So they're bringing in their uh, Togekiss here. So this is a pretty tough team, pretty solid team here. And, um, Eh, we're looking fine. We're looking beautiful. And that concludes the video, folks. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. It does help me out quite a bit. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. <laughs>